I don't have an apron, so I'm gonna make one. There are certain days that I come up to this Capitol that I'm not very proud to be a legislator. And this week is one of those. I've been serving in this legislature for six years and I have never ever seen a bill that is more anti-family, <laughs> anti-life, and anti-woman than this bill. Unfortunately, there are certain legislators up here and those are the ones that think that life begins at conception, but they also think that it ends at birth. <laughs> in the Senate who voted for it, we need you behind us. Yeah. I bought a queen size bed for a very small bedroom and I didn't, I didn't plan it right, space wise. And so now I have this queen size bed that takes up most of my room. And like my room is like full of this bed and there's no room for the government in my bedroom anymore and I'm scared. <laughs> We should not be here today. You should be, you should be in class or in the office or yeah. factory or any other place of your work. I should be in my clinic or in my operating room tending to my patients. My primary mission is to help Oklahoma couples realize their dreams of becoming parents. Yeah. Yet we're here to right a wrong, to point out to some of our legislators whom we elected in order to better the lives of Oklahomans, that they are imposing hardships on those of us who value the freedom to choose to have a family. I don't mean to get personal here, but we elected you, Senator Crane and Representatives Billy and Reynolds, to help better our lives and guard our freedoms. Instead, you chose to pander to special interests and push and push legislature that was manufactured out of state, whose end, whose end result is to limit the reproductive rights of Oklahomans. I introduced the Every Sperm is Sacred Amendment as a way of bringing balance to the discussion about reproduction. For years now, I've sat by and watched as the legislature has rolled out time after time bills that further limit women's choices when it comes to reproductive care. But they never address the issues related to the fact that a man is necessary for a woman to become pregnant. So we're trying to define in the latest attempt, the personhood bill, we're trying to define a person as an embryo, when in fact the beginning, the biological beginning for personhood is the sperm and the ovum. And the person, the embryo only comes when those two are joined. So for us to only talk about the woman's role in reproduction is disingenuous, it's disrespectful, and it's outrageous. And I believe the women of Oklahoma deserve better, and we're here today to talk about it. I'm one of the organizers. I've been working very hard for the last 10, ye 10, 10 years, 10 days, um, trying to get all of the details to come together and make this event possible. Well, this group kind of was born out of a number of events that got posted online simultaneously. And all of the organizers came together and decided to just do one big event. Um, and it ended up, that's where the group came from. My name is Amanda Jest. I'm the daughter of the State House Representative Brian Winnegar that came up here earlier. And I am pregnant thanks to God instilling Dr. Rashef with his passion and skill for in vitro fertilization. I had two rounds of in vitro before I found out I was pregnant and it has been a very long road filled with blood, sweat, and tears. In vitro is not an easy route to take. It is a financial and emotional strain. If in vitro was not provided to Oklahoma, I would not have the opportunity to become a mother. My insurance would not cover as much 
as they did as far as the hospitalizations and the doctor visits if I had to leave the state. In vitro is also an investment of time because I was able to receive in vitro treatments in Oklahoma it allowed me to work with my doctor visits into my job schedule. I was going to the doctor every other day for ultrasounds and blood draws. If this service was not provided in Oklahoma, the baby my husband and I have been praying for would not have happened. It is not fair that lawmakers, for the lawmakers to take away my options of starting a family in Oklahoma. legislatures, please do not punish Oklahoma couples in my shoes. Personhood, I'm sorry, by passing the personhood bill. Our lack of ability to conceive naturally is punishment enough. Thank you. We have a voter registration table set up by the Young Democrats of Oklahoma. Heather Hall, the organizer of this rally, contacted Young Dems about doing voter registration and she asked me if I could also get in touch with young Republicans or college Republicans to see if they would also like to do voter registration since you know registering people to vote is not a partisan issue and women's rights should not be a partisan issue. They adamantly declined and they said that they had to support the Republican Party of Oklahoma. I'm barefoot today because the theme of the rally is barefoot and pregnant which is where I think that Oklahoma Republicans want women to be. Back in the 1950s, you know, wearing their pearls and their apron and barefoot cleaning houses. And that's not where women should be. I think today's turnout is awesome. I realized that this was planned on a shoestring budget. It was kind of planned at the last minute. But when you see this many women show up, at a, at a drop of a notice, that tells you that there's a huge interest in this area, and I hope we'll do more to continue this uh, this advocacy effort. Well, thank you for your My pleasure. Thank you.